Residents in two of Limerick City's most deprived suburbs have welcomed a major regeneration plan aimed at reducing crime and creating new job opportunities in the areas. The work is to be carried out by two new state agencies based in Moy Ross and South Hill. They will demolish rundown estates and play a lead role in attracting new jobs. The regeneration uh, kicked off about 12 months ago in June 2007. Uh, the previous year we had the incident with the two kids in Moy Ross and there was actually controversy over that. I do believe the Gavin and Millie um, incident, horrific and all as it was for those young children and their families and their, their um, difficulties will continue for the rest of their lives. Uh, but I do uh, c believe it was a wake-up call uh, for the entire country and government and this was government's response. The government, I think, probably are somewhat embarrassed by the situation where over a long period of time, these estates have been neglected. And I think there's total outcry in relation to some of the incidents that have been occurring uh, and the situation where it was getting out of hand with a number of criminal families who seem to be just taking charge of these estates. In total, we're talking about um, in excess of a thousand homes and the overall plans for the area would be that um, we demolish all the houses and uh, we build new homes over a period of five or six years. Well, I think that's the thing that gets the attention all the time, the fact we're knocking down or demolishing houses. That's the easy part. It's easy to knock down houses. We've knocked down houses in 10 or 12 minutes uh, in the last few months. It's very much about the social regeneration of my Ross and South Hill and the economic regeneration. Now, economic means jobs for people and jobs for people and for the youngsters in 10 years' time. But the social regeneration is the most important, is the most difficult. And it's not going to be resolved overnight. There are a lot of kids in trouble that we hope we might be able to save. But there are some kids in trouble that we probably won't be able to save. There'd be no question in my mind that the regeneration program has cause for a lot of people uh, whom I would have, uh, you know, fairly weekly and daily contact with confusion in the sense of they're not too sure as to where their future lies. And I think this has come about because a lot of people feel that at a local level, they have not been consulted. I'd say they could go on and explain to the people a bit more in a on an individual basis into the houses. Show the document and explain to them. It's all right explaining in the group because people are only half listening to what's been said, you know, it's when the time looking around. But if explained on an individual individual basis, it, it would seem better like. They've been having meetings and they've been giving out leaflets of questions that are mostly asked and there's a lot of information on them, yeah, and I mean people that don't go to the meetings won't really know what's happening. There's all kinds of rumours here and there. But I mean I've been to all the meetings and um, yeah, we, we know a lot of what's going on, yeah. Well, the consultation has been uh, huge over the last 10 months. Um, it goes from calling to people's doors uh, and uh, one to one um, at the doorstep to people calling in here to the offices on a daily basis, uh, trying to find out what's going on, what's going to happen with their new homes. We haven't been ha indulging in real and meaningful consultations with everybody. Now, that's not always the, the fault of the regeneration people, because people who live in these areas, they've looked at, you know, lots of promises which have been made to areas before, and they simply didn't believe that they're going to happen. Now, we know that there are a number of families that have not engaged with us, uh, and we've encouraged people to come in to us. Uh, we're very open, we're transparent and upfront with people. We have nothing to hide in relation to what we're doing. The small number of people that are against it, we would hope that in, as time moves on that they will change their minds. I prefer if they, they didn't go ahead with it. What, should, what can you do when they're, you know? I mean, I'm there 34 years now and I, I, I hate to see my house gone, you know? There's a lot of burnt out houses and it's a bad reputation from Iran, like from people from other countries and everyone's family coming over and seeing like, you know, rubbish and burnt houses and it's not nice thing to see like but it's hard for us like to know we have to move out and you know we have to come back. I think it is a good idea because the state of the houses are deplorable. Like the reality if, if you create a ghetto which the state has in Moros and if you leave it starved of facilities and services this is what you get so the physical um, environment has a lot to do with it so if we change that and we will change that we think you'll have a different situation altogether in 10 years time. I personally have a lot of faith in the regeneration um, but in terms of I'm more interested in the media coverage and I think that is changing somewhat because th there's been a, a watershed moment when regeneration came 
I don't mean the watershed was Millie and Gavin. I mean when Regeneration came and the president launched it with a lot of sports stars and what have you. And from now on, the media discourse is to reflect the positive nature of movement forward for this area, regardless of what happens. And there will be, there will be um, investigative journalism, I hope, of how regeneration works. I would hope that there would be a new way of looking at those estates, because I hope with regeneration they won't be the focus of media attention for all the wrong reasons. I hope they'll be the focus of media attention for all the right reasons. The truth is the truth. And it's the truth, as the Master says himself, that'll set us free. And if a tragedy takes place in Limerick, or any other city or county in the country, invariably it's going to get coverage. But equally, I would hope that at the end of the day, uh, that that will be matched with the efforts that so many people have made to try and make a difference in their children's lives, and are still trying to continue to do it. And sometimes, you know, many of them feel that the future may seem bleak. And I think it's important that they get encouragement, that they get support, and that they're given the necessary skills in order to be able to implement this regeneration program. Give me real 